Hey guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to another video. Hi, how are you? So, I thought I would make this little two-part video where I'm going to show you guys all of my houses on Blocksburg and give y'all a tour. It was an idea that popped up in my head. I thought it would be fun to do and show you guys all my houses and such. And because I, I have, I've never done that on my channel before, and I thought it would just be something fun to do. So yeah. Anyways, for our first house, you guys have already seen this. This is my real life house that I recreated on Blocksburg. It's a very similar recreation. It's almost spot on. There are a couple things that are not accurate, but that's just because you know Blocksburg has its limits. You know, so yeah, but anyways, so we're gonna start off today with a tour of my IRL house. I've already shown this before, but I've kind of actually updated it recently, so it'll kind of be new anyway. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with the first house. So, I'm also going to be doing a thing where I'm going to tell you guys how much the value of the house is on Blocksburg and in real life. So, the house in Blocksburg is worth $337,000 in value, and in real life, I looked and it's actually worth 377 So that's not too much of a difference, but, I mean, still, I mean, but... <laughs> But yeah, whatever. Let's just go ahead and get on with the tour. I'm gonna kind of do that for like every house. For starters, these shrubs here do not exist anymore. I kind of did like a collab of how my house looked many years ago and how it looks now. So, you know, it'll be pretty cool. And this is our little flower garden my mom has in the front yard. We have tulips that come up every spring for about a few weeks and then they die. <laughs> and then they die. But I love them, so I just keep them on here. And now let's go ahead and go in the front door. So here's the entryway here. This is our coat closet right there. A random mirror to check yourself before you leave the house. And this is our living room. So for starters, I built my own little fireplace here because let me explain y'all something. So we have a 70s rock wall fireplace, which is not common anymore. It was very common in the 70s, but they are not common anymore. They are out of trend, literally non-existent. No one likes them now. However, I kind of like it, you know, though, because it's like it's something frozen in time, you know, like it's something to look back at. Like, you guys get what I'm saying? So I personally don't mind it in our house, but my mother, oh my God, you guys, my mom absolutely hates this. Like she wants to rip this out so bad, but it costs like a fortune to rip it out. So I, I told her mom, literally just leave it and let the next house owner steal with it. Okay. Okay. And this here, guys, is an example of what a 70s rock wall fireplace would look like. This is very similar to the one in my house, but mine doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. Mine kind of goes, like, halfway up, like what you see on Blocksburg. This is a good example of, of what mine looks like in real life. And then we have some random pictures I put up. And my mom likes bears. I put up a picture of a bear for her. And these are two identical candles that she has in real life. They are just like that. And also for the record, so you've probably noticed all the ceiling beams I have. Let me tell y'all something. In real life, we have a high ceiling to living room and dining room. So like the ceiling here, it goes up in like a triangular shape and comes back down. So like both sides, they go up and meet here in the middle. But Blocksburg is still pretty limited on roofs and ceilings, so hopefully we get like a gable, a hollow gable roof someday, and then I can show you how it really looks. But yeah, so that's what that's all about. It, so yep, that's our living room, and this is our kitchen and dining room here. We recently just repainted our kitchen. Long story. When we bought the house, kitchen was like a yellow color, which I actually didn't mind at the time. Because, you know, to me, yellow is like a happy color. I like yellow. But then my mom, oh my god, guys, my mother made the biggest mistake of her life. She painted our kitchen an ugly green, which if you go back to some of my older videos, you'll see the green kitchen. But yeah, she finally repainted it, so now it's this color. It doesn't really match everything else, because my mom likes accent wall colors, but I don't get how this is accent. But, like, whatever. I think eventually she's gonna repaint the whole upstairs. But yeah, pretty basic. <laughs> And this is our little pantry in here. And here's our upstairs bathroom. 
And this is the uh, first floor guest bedroom. My sister is currently sleeping in this room, but she's going to be moving in the basement soon, which I will show you guys where that is in a minute. And this is my mom's office. In real life, it's actually my stepdad's, you know, man room where he keeps all his manly things, let's just say. But I don't care for my stepdad, so I turned this into my mom's rightfully deserved office. And yeah, so this is my mom's office. And here is my mom's bedroom. She has the master bedroom, as you can see. She has her closet, her big bed, everything. And she has a TV where she can watch her Netflix and Hulu, to Disney, yada, yada, yada. And here's her bathroom. Again, it's low-key kind of ugly. I would have designed it differently, but, you know, we all have our own tastes, right? <laughs> so, yeah, that is my mother's room. And that is the hole upstairs. Let's go ahead and go into the basement, and then we'll go outside. I recently just finally finished the basement, so if you guys have watched my previous videos, you'll remember I didn't have anything down here. Well, I just recently restored my basement to look how it looked when my parents got the house. So, it's gonna look very old compared to everything up here. Everything down here you're gonna tell is from the 70s, so prepare to go from 2021 to literally 1970 or whatever. So here we are in my old 70s basement. You can easily tell it's 70s because of like the wall paneling, the wallpaper. But you know, I actually liked it. Like I said before, it's like frozen in time. You know what I mean? So I actually really like this. I don't mind this at all. But this is all ripped out now. My mom, you know, she hated it. So she ripped out all of the wall paneling, she ripped off all the wallpaper and everything. And funny story, so one year when I was living in California, which I'm actually going to show you guys that house here pretty soon that I stayed at. It was my grandmother's old house, and my mother, well, she was um, drinking one night. <laughs> yeah, tea and lied to the little kids watching. My mother is an alcoholic. And she flooded our basement one summer because she was out partying and drinking. <laughs> so she had to completely rip everything off the walls, rip out all the carpet. So in real life, it's all just cement floor and grossness down here. But I restored it to its old, proper, nostalgic looks on Bloxburg. So yay me for doing that. But yeah. And over here are some of my old toys from when I was a little kid. I obviously had way more than this, but I just put a couple here and called it a day. And this was our little bar area. I don't remember us ever using it, but I kind of put it to use here. And under here was like, you can see under the stairs right here. But in here is just like where like the water softener is, you know, where like all the salt goes, whatever. But yeah. This, so this was like our family room, basically. When I was also little, I had a Wii set up and everything. Like, I'm the 2000s kid, y'all. I literally grew up within the 2000s to the early 2010s. That was my childhood. So, yeah, I had a Wii and everything down here. I played Mario Kart. Oh, it was so much fun. I miss being a kid. And yeah, and this here was like our pellet stove. It was a lot bigger than this, but you know, good enough, right? All right, moving on. And this in here is currently our storage room. So long story, actually, this used to be like an office many years ago. We had this desk here. It was in this corner and there was a computer and everything. And that's really all there was in here. But um, now it's our storage room. And funny story again, our storage room is actually in this room, but we're now moving it all into here. So yeah, this is our new storage room, and then my sister, she's going to be moving into this room here in the basement, because she wants to live next to me. So yeah, she'll be in this room in here, and then I'm going to help her repaint her room. She wants her room to be like a lavender color, so this will eventually be repainted and furnished when she gets her room finished. Which I told her I'm helping her with because I, let's be honest, I have very good interior design techniques. And you guys will all notice that as you see all my houses. But yeah, anyways. This is my vanity. And this is a custom built little cabinet I made. It's not usable, but what it is basically, 
is each mirror is like an opening type of door thing. And then on top, I have all these old fashioned 70s light bulbs that I hang up on top of here. <laughs> yeah, we have a house that, that was our house was built in the 70s. So that's why everything looks so old. But you know what? I like it for the nostalgic reasons. And, yeah, and then this is, again, my vanity, and this is where all my towels and stuff is. There's my little mirror. And this is my shower and toilet. And then, again, the laundry. And, yeah, and then back here is where, like, our water heater, et cetera, et cetera, would be. And then we have, like, this really old-fashioned closing curtain here. It works just like this. But it's, like, kind of broken, but <laughs> I just put it there for whatever reason. And then we have, like, this random door frame I noticed right here, so I added that to be, you know, realistic. And we have a random mirror right here as well in the hallway. And this is my room in here, just a basic red room. And my closet, and I am sitting right here as I am talking to you guys in real life, sitting right in that chair. And yeah, that is, that is my room. Now let's go ahead and go out into the backyard. I know it's kind of dark, so it's hard to see everything. I do apologize, but I will do my best to show you everything. So here's like my hot tub we just got back in April. And here are some flowers I put over here. And oh, oh, those fireworks actually kind of scared me in real life. That was funny. <laughs> and then I put some flowers over here. And this is the little outdoor patio seating we got going on. This is our little fire pit we have outside. This is our barbecue and our little hose right here for watering plants, you know. And out here we have two sheds. And this shed here, let me turn the light on up there. So I put in like a cute little barn door. In real life it just opens like out this way. Like, a, like that, but they didn't have that on here, so I just had to compromise. But hey, it works. It looks perfectly fine. And then in this shed, we have a bunch of storage for, like, gardening tools and lawn stuff, you know. And then we got our lawn mower and our push mower, you know, because we have a really, really, like, big yard, as you can see. So, like, you can only imagine all the yard work we have to do every year, especially, like, in the fall and the spring. Like, it literally sucks. And this is my mom's vegetable garden where she grows squash and rhubarbs and tomatoes and pretty much anything that she likes or whatever. And then this is another shed we have. I don't really know what goes in here, so I kind of just, like, left it empty. Long story, I went in here one time, and my stepdad had gotten mad at me, saying I'm not allowed in there, so I don't even really know what's, what's in there, honestly, but yeah. And then when I was a little kid, I had a little playground outside in my backyard. It's not there anymore, but you know, as I mentioned in the beginning, I wanted to kind of remake my house and have it be like, you know, like what it looks like now, but also include things from when I was a, a child. You know, just for the childhood nostalgia. You know what I mean. But yeah, I had a playground just like this when I was a little kid. I don't remember why we got rid of it. I think it had to do with because, you know, I just... Once I got old enough, I just never used it anymore. You know, because we all grow up and... But, whatever. Someone's lighting off fireworks somewhere. Oh, sure. oh they're coming from over there. <laughs> um, I think the 4th of July has been over for a while, but... You know what? I'm sure your neighborhood Karen will call the police and complain. I think you guys know how it is. Alright, so that was my IRL house. Let's go and move on to the next one. Okay guys, I just got off the plane in San Diego, California, and my grandpa is currently driving us to Marietta, California, where, my, where we're going to visit my grandmother for the summer. And here we are. So here we are again at my grandma's house in California. She does not live here anymore, but this was her house for many years, and I went here almost every summer because I just love California, and I got a couple free Disneyland trips out of it because that was only an hour away from Anaheim, so, you know. <laughs> so yeah, this is an actual real-life creation of her house I made. But anyways, before we go in, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what the value is and what the real house, as of now, value is. So, the house value is $258,000. I would round this automatically to 
$2.9 just because it's over $500 here. So the house is $259,000, while the real life house is currently worth $666,000. And when she sold it, she sold it for like half that price. So housing has really gone up a lot, as you can tell in the past decade, especially in California. So yeah, a pretty big increase compared to what the value is on Bloxburg. Anyways, let's go ahead and go in. But first of all, this was my grandmother's outdoor seating. We would come and sit out here sometimes. And then she had like some outdoor lights that would come on. And now let's go and enter. Oop, I don't want to touch the plant. This is the foyer, and the, over here, she had, like, a sitting room with, like, like a fancy dining set going on. It looks really cramped, but in real life, it was not this cramped, I swear. It was a lot more spacious. I just did not do a very good job spacing everything apart in here, but you know what? It's fine. It's whatever. And then, funny story, so when I was a kid, my grandmother had this like really old thing of flowers. I don't remember if they were dead or what, what happened, but there was this bowl on the coffee table and I picked all of the dead petals off the flower and I put them all in a little bowl for her. And I don't remember if I got in trouble for that, but that's just has always been a very fond memory to her of when I picked all the dead petals and put them in like a little bowl for her because I didn't want to throw them away or something. <laughs> yeah, I was a precious innocent child. And then over here, this is a coat closet. I never actually went into this coat closet, but I just put two little things in here and called it a day. So yeah. <laughs> and this is her kitchen, dining, and living room all in one combination. Her kitchen was pretty basic. She did not have a fryer. I don't even know why that's out here. I, I think the last time I ha used this house, I was doing something. I think I was like making donuts or whatever. But yeah, this was her kitchen, pretty basic. And this was her pantry, I do remember was bigger than this, but you know, Bloxburg limits. And then this was her dining room table. And actually, interesting story. When I was little, another time I was here, I was sitting in this chair. And there was an earthquake. And my grandma was, just yelled out, earthquake! And then being a little kid, I didn't really know what was going on. But I remember I got kind of scared of it. And then there was, I was friends with this little girl who lived next door. And she was like not scared at all she was just vibing and i'm over here like crying because where i'm from there aren't earthquakes and i just remember looking outside and seeing everything kind of going like D -d 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 -d, like you know everything was shaking right and i just remember being so terrified but it wasn't even that bad it only lasted for about like a quarter of a minute and then it stopped but yeah literally we were just eating dinner and my grandma just yelled out earthquake <laughs> It was kind of funny the way she yelled it, but yeah. But nope, everything was okay. We were all good. And yeah, so that is that. And then this is the living room. And again, more fun stories. I really enjoyed doing this. If you guys enjoy this, give the video a thumbs up. I really enjoy telling you guys stories about all these houses we're going to be looking at. Anyways, even though the video might be long, who cares? It's a story video and slash touring houses video. It's fun. So, another little story thing, when I was a kid as well, I used to always sit on this couch in this spot right here, and I would always watch TV, and her TV setup was not like this, it was, I might try to custom build it though sometimes as I'm getting better with basic shapes. She had like a big setup here, and ha on one side had like her fireplace, and then the other side had her like her TV built into it. Or something like that. So I might try to recreate that because I, I bet I can do it. But if you guys, if you guys can kind of picture what I'm saying or talking about, it was like a half, half, like half fireplace and then half TV on the other side. But yeah, and then she had like a stained glass window up here and everything. So this is an example of the fireplace and TV thing I'm talking about. So this is not my grandma's house. This is like a house with a similar layout. And basically this is what it looked like. It was like the fireplace on one side here. And then her TV was, like, inside this thing right here. And then that was, like, where the stained glass window was. But, yeah, that's an example of that. But, anyways, I would always sit on this couch, and I would always watch iCarly on Nickelodeon and Hannah Montana on Disney Channel. That was all I ever watched when I was a kid at her house. And my grandma, I remember her telling me she thought Spencer from iCarly was so funny. <laughs> that was her favorite character. But, yeah. Fun times. I miss being a kid. And then, this is her guest room on the first floor. I think I stayed in this room a couple times, but most of the time I stayed upstairs, one of the other bedrooms, which we'll get to in a moment. 
but yeah, just basic guest room with a closet and everything. And yeah, just basic little guest room. And this was her first floor bathroom. Shower slash bathtub thing. Toilet and like a countertop vanity sink type of thing going on. And then this is an exact same photo that she had in her bathroom. I looked up the, um, the offer. It was like written in like tiny letters right here. I looked it up and I found the photo and I just... I uploaded it to Roblox, and now I have it on here. And this is the laundry room in here. Again, pretty basic. And then here, this is her garage right here. And that is the first floor of her house. And then I'll show you guys the backyard once we're all done with the uh, upstairs. So this is the upstairs. She had a balcony facing the doors downstairs. And then, don't mind this here, I just kind of built structural stuff over it to cover the roof glitch, because Coptus hasn't fixed that yet, so that's what that's all about right there. And this was her setup she had. These couches, I know, are hideous, and don't even get me started on the rug. This is all hideous furniture, I know. And guess what, it still exists to this day. But, again, it's nostalgic, and let me tell you another story. So when I was, a, again, a child, I would always sit up here in this little family room, and I would watch Total Drama on Cartoon Network on this TV. It's so funny. I would always watch Total Drama Island. Oh my god. And I always sit on this couch right here. <laughs> again, fun times. And another time, she did have a treadmill right here. One time I was using the treadmill. And I was just kind of like, you know, messing around on it. Well, one time they set it to speed 10 and I tried to run on it. <laughs> I fell down and I hit my nose. I didn't break it, but I just remember my nose hurt really bad. <laughs> so yeah, guys, moral of the story, don't run on a treadmill if you're fat, okay? Because that's what happened to me. I fell instantly and hurt my nose. But yeah, so that's her little family room and stuff set up. All right, fix that. Okay. Next is another bedroom upstairs. So guys, I did a little fool the public trick here. I didn't have room to fit in a closet, so I put up a decal of a closet and called it good. But yes, there is, it's a little bright in here. But yes, so this is the bedroom, another room upstairs. I did not really ever stay in this one. But yes, there is a closet that does go right here. I was not able to fit it, which sucks, but yeah, this was a bedroom upstairs. So we have a pretend closet to fool the public. <laughs> so that's one bedroom. And this is the second floor bathroom. It has two sinks, a vanity thing going on here. And then it has another room with a toilet and a shower, just like the one downstairs. And so there's that. And then right here is another little desk. And actually, the desk she had right here looked just like this one, but different colors, I believe. I couldn't really remember what color it was, so I just kind of left it as the default for right now. But she did not even have a computer here. She had a typewriter. And I actually used her typewriter once just to write my mom a letter, because I was so fascinated with the typewriter. I am so old, you guys. I'm 20 years old. I'm from, like, the very beginning when Gen Z just started, so I am an old Gen Z person. But anyways, so she had a typewriter, and I did write one letter to my mom on it, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was cool learning how to use one. And then this is the bedroom I stayed in quite often. I had a closet and everything. Just a basic little bedroom. And this in here was my grandpa's office. So he did not have these actual photos, you know, in here. I just kind of put those in here for fun. And I could not really remember what his office looked like, to be honest, because it's been so many years since I've been in this house, and I can't even go there now if I wanted to. But I forgot all the stuff he had in his office, so I just kind of had to use my memory to do it. But... I also kind of had to be creative, so I put in a little couch here and a photo of L.A. Got the Hollywood sign in the background, because my grandma was only an hour away from Los Angeles. And then I feel like I remember there was a console underneath the window here, but I can't remember. And then I know there was like a corner type desk over here, and it had like a computer on it. 
and there was a shelf of like books and everything and files. And then like Grandpa had a picture here of like the map of the US, but I could not find a clear and good one. So I just put up the California Republic flag. And anyway, some more fun some more stories to tell you about this room. So when I was also little, every story about this house I was little in, basically. So I would always sneak out of this room, sneak past the, my grandma's room, and come in here as quietly as possible, and sneak on the computer to play Sims 2 when I was a child. It was so funny, I always got away with it, she never found out. I feel like there was one time she did find out, but she didn't get mad, like she just told me to go back to bed and that I could play it when I woke up later. I thought I was being so sneaky when I did that, but no. I think she always knew what I was up to, but she just kind of decided not to say nothing, just, you know, because of whatever. And this closet, I don't think there really actually was a closet in here, but I had a little extra space right here, so I just kind of put it in a closet for whatever reasons. I do remember, though, there was another closet right out here in the hallway. It was, like, a really tiny one, though, you know, it was, like, I don't even remember what, like, Grandma kept in it, honestly, but, yeah, whatever. And now, on to the last room upstairs. The huge, gigantic master bedroom. Now, if you guys have seen those California suburban homes, they have huge master bedrooms. Like, this bedroom is literally gigantic. My grandmother had her huge bed that her and my grandpa slept in, and they had a big setup here, and they had a TV and everything. They had cable in here. And this was her little vanity she had. It was like a big dresser with a thick mirror on it. And you know what? Funny story. I have this exact same dresser in my room now. She gave it to me. So I have this in my room. <laughs> Something nice that she gave me from California. And then she had like two little chairs over here by the window. I cannot remember what she had in this corner. I feel like it was a plant, but I cannot remember what she had in that corner. So this was her bedroom. And this was her really nice bathroom that I just loved to death. So, she, I think, had two sinks in here, but I just kind of put one, because I kind of made it this my own a little bit. But yeah, I remember she had two vanity sinks, and just one, like, one long, wide mirror right here. And then she had, like, a closet right here, but I didn't have room for one. But it was, like, another closet, and it had more clothes in it, and it was, like, carpet in there and everything. And this is her little shower she had, her little private little toilet room. And she did have a bathtub right here, but it was, like, an oval-shaped one. And it was just, like, back here. It wasn't, like, this one. I just put that one there because I had enough V-Bucks to get it. So I just kind of put that there. And, you know, called it a day. Anyway, so that is my grandmother's house. Now we're going to go ahead and go outside. Forgive me, I know it's dark again. Darn Roblox time, right? So this was her outdoor setup. She had a barbecue and some seating. I remember she had like two lounge chairs, but I put them over here. And then she had like another like cement little circle right here. So I put the lounge chairs out here. And then when I was little, she got me a little kiddie pool that she put on, on top of this here. And this that was like my pool for when I came over. It was a lot of fun. And I was always so jealous because her neighbors right over here next door, they had like a pool with like a connected spa and everything. I was so jealous. Like I was like, Grandma, why didn't you just buy that house? And she's like, well, because we didn't need a pool. I'm like, oh, yes, you did for when I came over. <laughs> But yeah, my grandma and I, well, we always had our good laughs when we were together when I was little. And other than that, that is my grandmother's house in Marietta, California, which is now owned by some other bitch. So yeah, screw them. <laughs> you know, not gonna lie though, if I was rich enough, I would totally buy a house like this in California, but <sighs> too darn expensive. What can you do, right? Anyways, on to the next house. Okay guys, I just landed at Miami International Airport and now I'm heading to my house in Parkland. That was a super long flight, but oh my god, I am so happy to finally be here, back in Florida. And here we are, my house in Parkland, Florida. Alright, so for starters, this is not a house based off a real life one. This is actually a house that I looked up on, on one of those like house layout things online where you can, like, literally buy house layouts and have it built and stuff. But I was looking up, like, Mediterranean one-story house layouts because I wanted, like, a house, you know, set in Florida. And I found this one, and I knew right away this was the one for me. And the inside is really pretty. I This is definitely one of my favorite houses I've ever made, even though it's little. 
But anyways, so for starters, before we go in, this house is listed at $364,000 in Bloxburg money. In real life, you know, I tried to look at, like, similar houses and what they costed. Well, the Miami area is very, very expensive, and I checked out two places. I checked out Parkland and then over up in Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale didn't really have any houses like this. They were a lot more of these in, like, Parkland, I noticed. So I just decided we'll set it in Parkland. And I assume for a house like this down there, I looked on Zillow, it's actually pretty expensive. This would probably be like a f half a million dollar house possibly 600,000 it's very very expensive to live in Parkland but you know what it's worth it and good thing it's Bloxburg so money isn't an issue for me anyways let's go ahead and tour the house come on in so I have a little entry walkway right here with a little light and everything and then here's my doorbell and yeah that's a little entryway and here is my little foyer where you come in. So this is a very Mediterranean styled house, as you can see, very Floridan. And we'll start over here, I guess. So this is bedroom number one. Just a basic bedroom, you know, for guests and whatnot. You have a pretty nice view on the front, I guess. I mean, people see into your room, but I mean, that's why curtains exist, right? That nobody can see in. So yeah, this is bedroom one, and then this is bathroom number one, pretty basic, toilet, vanity, shower, bathtub combination, and this is bedroom number two. I got, you know, it's pretty, I kind of have like a theme going on in each room, like I did like beachy colors, you know, bright beachy colors, and this one is connected to a bathroom, so this bathroom is just again a vanity sink toilet, and this one has only a bathtub, not a shower, because I didn't want them all to be the same, so I just did a bathtub in this one, and you have a nice little picture of a palm tree and a window. And this is the door into the garage. I don't even know what I was trying to go for right here, honestly. I just was kind of putting stuff together. Then I kind of just, like, forgot about it and left it alone. But, yeah, just kind of threw all that together. And this is my laundry room in here. It's pretty small, but, you know, it's good enough for just, like, me. So that's my laundry room, and no, I don't feel like doing laundry. That's what the maid is for, duh. And I do have a maid. I pay her weekly. And this is my little bookshelf I custom built myself to fit in here. I got some antelope or deer, reindeer, and then I got some stuff up here. And then I got a collage of my kitty. There's a photo of moi. And a photo of me and my daughter. So that's a story for another time. But yeah, guys, um, I had a daughter during my absence. I don't really ever talk to her, but I kind of like pretend RP had a daughter and I named her Tiffany. And well, me and my friends will have an inside joke about her. But yeah, she's kind of off doing her own thing. But yeah, that's a photo I took with her when she was around the age of four. And that was taken at one of my mansions, which will be in the part two video. All right, so here is my kitchen and dining room combination. My kitchen has tiled flooring, as you can see. And yeah, this is my kitchen. This is my little dining table. Got a picture of Disney World, Orlando. Because we're not terribly far away from Orlando. It's about a two hour drive from Miami, I believe. I'm not fully sure, but yeah. And I just realized, you guys, it's raining. Well, that's how you know you're in Florida. It rains every day down there, so good timing rain. So anyways, and then here's my living room I made. I custom built this entire bookshelf with basic shapes, and I built it around to the traditional fireplace, and I had to put a TV up there. And I got a picture of the state of Florida, and then a picture of me and a friend. Again, my daughter Tiffany when she was a cheerleader in high school. <laughs> and again, me and Tiffany when she was a little girl. And that was in California, as you can see from the photo. 
And now let's go into the master bedroom, aka my room. You can tell it's my room because it's pink. And then this is my little TV. And I know you're wondering, Brittany, where are all your clothes? Sweetie, that's why we have a thing called walk-in closets. Now, I know this is really small, but you know what? It's all I could fit, and you know what? It's fine. I'm never at this house. I am always at my mansion in Beverly Hills, and that is where I live most of the time anyway. So all my clothes are there. And then here's my master bathroom. I got a nice little tub, a walk-in shower. I got a private little toilet room. My vanity set up. And because I love The Little Mermaid, I put a picture of Ariel but when she was in the tub in the, in the movie in my bathroom as well. Because God knows I love Ariel to death. And lastly, this is my... It's going to get kind of loud now with the rain, so I'm going to turn my volume down. And lastly, this is my little outdoor kitchen I made. I got a sink, an electric cooktop, a little cooler with drinks down there, a little outdoor seating area, and I got some plants growing up in here, and I got lots of vines hanging surrounding the pillars. I went all out on this house for sure. And I got lots of palm trees, as you guys can see, they're all over the place because you know, it's Florida, they're everywhere. And this is my pool, I got three lounging chairs, and I got plants all over the place, just plants everywhere you go guys. Then I got some more outdoor seating over here, and this is my little hot tub, and I do have, and I do have steam that comes on, so it looks like an actual hot tub, you know, perfect makeshift hot tub, and yeah. I do have pool lights as well. Um, I won't be able to show you them because it's not nighttime, but I do have lights and they do come on at night. Well, I have to turn them on, but you know what I mean. And those are all of my properties that I'm going to be showing today. I do have four more, but they are all big houses and I want to show those in one video. So this is like part one for all of my smaller houses and part two will have all of my mansions and everything that you guys I know are just dying to see so yeah that'll be in a part two and for the record you guys I do have like a list of videos that are coming out in like in what order so part two won't be coming out for a while but you'll see it and it will eventually come out but don't worry you guys are going to see everything you've been waiting for in that one so yeah but anyways, thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed my little house tour and all my story times, give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Roblox, and I'll talk to you guys later, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Brittany loves ya.